there has to be a need for a paradigm shift in terms of our mindset. We have to restructure our previous mindset from a nice and quiet diplomacy to something that is robust but truthful diplomacy, firm but polite. I, at this juncture, I'd like to make note of something. Uh, Secretary Del Rosario, pardon me, sir. I, I know I'm not. He's very humble, but I will speak for you. He was being accused of so many things, of, uh, of uh, ranting. The truth of the matter is that's not true. In all of the meetings that the secretary attended, he was up but always polite. He never called the country by any names. He was firm, but he was also polite. He was truthful. He was not lying. And so this is all that he did. Uh, uh, by that, I mean, if you remember at one point in the Philippine diplomacy, there was that approach of, if you're being raped, you might as well enjoy it. That was, that was the, if you remember that, I'm not going to quote who that is, but that was not the approach that we have taken. If you're being done wrong, speak out. And what is wrong with that? Nothing. That was the kind of diplomacy that Secretary, if you want the world to know what is happening, if you want to solve the problem, you have to recognize that it is a problem first and foremost, then you're able to discuss solutions. How can you go into solutions if you don't even recognize something as a problem? Sorry. So from, from there, from a very complacent, contented, we just accept whatever is our fate. No, we can do something. And so from there, we took risk. Secretary Del Rosario took risk. There are so many anecdotes in here, but uh, maybe in the question and answer. And we don't get into a defeatist attitude just because they are powerful and because they don't want to do it, we accept it. No, we have not taken, Secretary Del Rosario has not taken that. Third, the bilateral, multilateral, this is the traditional concept. You can probably have a shift into something more creative because it was not working. If it is not working, then you have to think outside of the box. And so from the bilateral, multilateral, you have added another concept, which is internationalization and arbitration. For people to understand what is rule of law in terms of what is right and wrong, it should not be reduced in a matter of opinion between one against the other. There has to be a third party adjudication that will objectively say this is wrong and this is right. Then it makes it easier for the international community to put their support into that principle. Fourth, from appeasement. Appeasement, as we understood it in World War II, created more conditions for war to happen. We know that. Why? Because comparing it with, us, with the sun growing up, if you keep on saying yes to that sun, when he grows up, he becomes a brat. By that time, it's too late to tell him what is right and wrong. Perhaps. At the right time, if you do the right intervention at the right time, you will still have the possibility of shaping the behavior of that entity or that person. Not for, your own, not, not for his bad uh, welfare, but for his own good and the good of the others also, because we live in a community. And for a superpower such as China, with all the arsenal of, of, of weapons, it is in our interest to make sure that that country who is a, a, a superpower will have the right condition, the right thinking, the right behavior for it to live in a society or community of nations. And so what, we, what Secretary Del Rosario really went into, but a peace mentality, one that is durable, not a band-aid, because we knew in the past that band-aid solutions do not solve the problem, they only aggravate it. It's like having a toothache, you take a painkiller, but if you don't address it in the long term, one day it will be extracted. Finally, in the concept of unfair de develop joint development, it's like this. Pardon me, sir, if I make you an example. Secretary Del Rosario is a good uh, you know, GQ model with all his suits. <laughs> the suit he's wearing, is his suit because he's wearing it. What has happened in the past is that 
Oh, Secretary Del Rosario, that suit, by the way, is not just yours. I have a caliber 45 here, so that suit now is disputed, by the way. I'm a good man, so what we can do is share your suit. Today you can wear it, tomorrow make sure that you bring it and I will wear it, but I will also make sure that the day after tomorrow, I will give it back to you. That's the concept of sharing with the nine dash line. And so we have to address, therefore, nine dash line. And so from there, we have to have a paradigm shift. But the third paradigm shift that we have to do is we must have a clear concept of what is ours.